All right, hey everyone, this is the short recap for week 32 of my chill kernel hacking for fun. And I'm just gonna go through the main points and highlights of this week's stream. Um, this week was a pretty simple stream. Um, I pretty much only did one thing. And this stream, I worked on some unit testing for uh, the kernel. So in particular, I have this one um, piece of code that I wrote a few weeks ago where I'm um, in my sys syscall handlers, I'm doing validation on the pointers that are being passed uh, from user space to make sure that um, they point to valid ranges that user space is allowed to access. Um, and I wrote a bunch of code for kind of doing these checks, but I didn't have any tests for it. And it was a little bit involved, so I wanted to write some tests. Um, uh, for the first like 11 minutes of the stream, I'm just kind of like recapping how the code worked. So just a little bit of a summary um, in more detail. And then after that, I take a brief detour and, and look into this kind of like debug info thing, the exercise mentions. Um, I can't do that in the end because the compiler I'm using doesn't have stabs support anymore. And this class is from 2018. So I'm doing this like six years in the future. And so, um, so I can't out do that, but I was looking into a little bit of what that kind of stabs stuff even means. I actually needed to disable it to get the kernel to build because the compiler doesn't even support that anymore. Um, so that was just like a bit of a side quest. Um, and then from around the, the 22 minute mark is where I start to actually get going um, and start working on the, the main content for the stream, which is implementing the unit tests. And I did this in a similar fashion to some other tests that I have. Um, I don't have a lot of testing infrastructure, so the way it works is I just have some functions that just like run during boot up in the kernel that kind of use different APIs and kind of call stuff, um, but it's all still during, it's, it's not in a separate test executable, it's still in the, in the main kernel executable. And that's what I do for the rest of the stream, for like the rest of like the, a little bit over an hour, I'm just working on this, uh, these tests. And basically the way it works is, um, I, right, I have a function for my test and I create an environment structure. And so that corresponds to a process in the OS. And the goal is to set up some memory mappings within the process and then do, then do various different calls to this checker function um, with various kind of memory ranges and permissions uh, that are being attempted, like read or write, stuff like that. And, um, and then we should check if the, the checker function denies or allows access based off of the based off of, of whether the pointers are pointing at mapped memory or if the or if the permissions are correct or if the like the and the permissions are going to be either um, read and write or user and supervisor those are the two main permission bits that are relevant here um, and so I'm just gonna skim through I had to do a little bit of a uh, slight refactoring because I wanted to allocate memory in the process with different permissions like readable and writable in the function that I had for doing that. Um, previously, it only had, uh, it just made everything writable. Um, so I needed to add an argument that would allow me to specify whether I wanted read or write or what. So I did that. I just, added a, I just added a new argument and then adapted all the callers. So that was just a bit of refactoring. Um, and, then, and then here I go. And, oh, sorry, I'm gonna kill this palm tree timer. Yeah, and then um, 
here I go. And basically I'm, I'm calling region alloc to allocate some memory in the process and I'm doing a variety of mappings. I have this read only mapping, I have this uh, writable mapping all in these random addresses. Um, and I also have some memory that's kind of high up in memory at a, in a past the region where user space is allowed to access. Um, so, yeah. And then now I just, I start adding my assertions and my various tests. Um, so I test, it. yeah, so I just, I just test all the cases. I test whether it's as accessing memory that's beyond the, the U limit region, which is like the highest point that user space is allowed to access. I test uh, whether it's testing, whether it can like read memory correctly or uh, write memory or whether those permission bits are access or are respected. Um, and then lastly, some supervisor and user, like whether um, it properly checks that um, user mode cannot access supervisor mode memory. Um, and then lastly, it was, um, uh, but I had a bug. I, did I have a bug? I forgot what it was. No, I, okay, I had an issue where actually things were passing that I thought should fail. And they were actually passing because I was forgetting to pass the user space, uh, or yeah, user, user mode bit in the permissions. Um, because by default, it was actually thinking like that, uh, I was like the, the function, if it's not passed a user space flag specifically, it, um, it basically assumes that you're accessing with uh, kernel mode permissions, which are, which can access a lot of things. So, so I needed to go back and actually add the user space, um, bit to these permissions for the request, basically the, the request. Um, and then for like kind of the end, I was just kind of doing tests uh, to test whether my handling of alignment was correct, which required a kind of misaligning my pointers going off the end of the region, going off, off the beginning, off the end, stuff like that. Um, and, and pretty much that's actually it. So yeah, that was it. That was it for today's stream. Just um, not really doing a lot of feature development or anything like that, but mostly taking some opportunities to do a bit of unit testing for the kernel. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another one. Bye.